Hey guys, I thought I should uh, make a video on my latest project. As you may see, I'm doing my own coffee, home coffee area. And uh, of course I started only with this baby, with the Gadget Classic Pro. Uh, I was just trying to understand coffee and learn coffee. And then I moved to the... Um, is it Specialita? Yeah, Eureka Mignon Specialita grinder which is a nice grinder actually I think it's uh, the best in its class of course you can get better ones at higher price tags uh, then uh, I thought grinder and espresso machine would be not, not enough I need to <laughs> raise my <laughs> bar so I, I just got this time more skill which again will not break your bank but uh, um, it's quite a nice and capable skill so after doing this, I just uh, realized that I was not improving my quality of shots. So then I thought I should invest into, um, it's, and it's, it's calling it investing is too much maybe, uh, to get the spring kit from uh, Mr. Shades. And it's a pretty nice uh, uh, nine bar kit, easy to, to mount. Uh, and now I'm getting consistent nine bar pressure out of my Kaja Classic. But the only issue that I have now, uh, until today, uh, was the temperature. And you see uh, online a lot of PID kits, which are not looking so good, to be honest. They look aftermarket, they, they're China made. And uh, I didn't want to invest uh, 120 euros on something that looks very old, very outdated and it doesn't really fit the aesthetics of Kaja Classic uh, so then I thought how can I at least understand the temperature of the boiler and, and have some stable points of, uh, of starting my shots and then I just realized why don't I open the uh, Kaja Classic and see what's there and maybe I can attach a thermometer to it and so I had laying around in the house I had this IKEA uh, meat thermometer, uh, which comes with uh, a cord, which is attached to a, a bar, and that bar I just had it uh, moved and twisted with a, a bunch of pliers, a pair of pliers, and I managed to stick it inside of a boiler area where it, it's in full contact with the boiler, so it can read the temperature of the boiler. Uh, the mounting is pretty easy, you just go through the back of the Gadget Classic, there's some holes here and then once you put the iron rod inside, I mean in the right spot on the boiler, it, you should start uh, reading the temperature and just to demonstrate here this pretty ingenious uh, way of assessing your temperature I'll just start my Gadget Classic, I'll just uh, turn on function here and you'll see that the temperature will start rising soon just a second let me get closer as you may see the boiler is getting hotter and hotter and also the temperature is rising and it should reach a, about 106 uh, degrees celsius and in Fahrenheit, that would be 100, uh, 223. Now, I know that the coffee is brewing, uh, the coffee brewing temperature should be 93, and that's uh, the, the best you should get, 93, 94. Uh, but in fact, you're, you're checking the temperature of the uh, boiler, which is metal, it's not a liquid. The liquid inside should be 93 whenever it reaches 96, 95, uh, sorry, 106, 105 uh, degrees. So if you use this method, you have a pretty rough understanding of uh, how the boiler works and uh, on at which temperature you're at at a certain point. And the good part is that this is non-invasive. It's pretty easy to mount and it's only five euros. So. I think you should give it a try and uh, maybe it's not worth investing in a PID kit when you have right uh, 
temperature starting point for your shots every time. So I'm hoping this helps and if you want some more details of uh, how it was done, I'll make sure to create another video for you guys. That being said, thanks, I normally don't do this, so <laughs> I'm sorry for the poor quality of video. Ciao!